Hey guys, Lirlim here bringing you a older 1v1 back from the, um, back from Brian's tournament in, uh, sponsored by StarCraft, I mean Husky and Day9. And as you can see, it's going to be a Terran versus Zerg. Uh, his opponent Blood Rush spawning over here as the pink Zerg and... Ryan spawning as the Red Terran over down here. I am going to fast forward this because it's an extremely long game. Um, hopefully you can hear the volume in this game. I'm trying to blast as loud as I can from the speakers. Maybe I can put in some music in this later. Um, okay, I get it. Laying down a barracks. He's got to complete this wall because it's going to be a Zerg versus Zerg. And uh, spawning go will goes down for blood at 14 supply. Uh, in saturating his extractor the second it comes out. Increase the speed a little more. Actually, I don't want to blow up the computer. Um, SCV's counting over here. Overload over here. Overlord over here, and the drone slips to the wall is going to be scouting out the place. Uh, Brian's got a factory coming out, as well as double gas, so we're going to expect um, either Helions or early siege tank push from uh, Brian. Uh, Blood's already got a couple Zergings out, and he's also expanding. Control shift F, control N for the names. Um, blood is both players are temporarily supply blocked, almost. Um, blood's deciding to. He's already got the zergling speed actually, so his timings are really good. He's got quite a few zerglings now, and he's going to be harassing Brian's wall. He could have actually done a little more damage. I think he probably could have at least destroyed the supply depot. But Helions are out. Um, got a tech lab on this one researching the blue flame for the Helions, which are going to be a lot more powerful. What exactly does blue flame do? Uh, plus 10 damage, so that's a lot of damage. That'll be 24 damage against one Zergling, as opposed to 14. So, only 2 hits on the Zergling, and it's fried. Uh, without the upgrade, it probably requires 3 hits. But Brian has four Helions right here at the main base. Queen's tanking a lot of damage, but these Zerglings are overextending themselves, getting themselves fried. As long as Brian can avoid the Queens, he'll be fine. Don't get on the creep either, because if you're on the creep, we'll be able to get you. Zergling's trying to get a good surround. Not quite good enough, though. Singled out one Helion. Brian's got to keep moving so he can't get hit. Firing a couple of shots while he's retreating. This will go down. Uh, I think both players lost a good amount of uh, unit supply and minerals. Um, crap. Units lost. Um, says, uh, Blood's lost 26, while Brian's lost 9. But 26 of those are Zerglings. So I uh, hate that tab, actually. Um, Blood's got a lot of creep spread going right now. And he's got a really high number of Zerglings. And he's also getting a Roach Warren. Um, Brian's going Marine Zergling. So, uh, Banelings would be pretty good right now, actually, but Roaches would do the job. Uh, he's got to be careful of this one Siege Tank, though. Um, this Siege Tank could be very dangerous. I uh, really like the Creep Spread, and I just realized that these things have eyes. Uh, Zerglings engaging, I can tell a lot of them are fried right there. There are a lot of Zerglings, though. That Overlord does go down. Uh, Roach is falling back to a good positioning. 
falling back all the way to the main base. But Siege Tank sieging up, targeting the main base right now. Blood looks like he's just trying to get uh, Macro up in army as fast as he can right now, but he does decide to push, pushing extremely hard right now, forcing Brian to fall back to his Siege Tanks. Looks like there are not enough Roaches and Queens to do the job, however. One Queen goes down. Can this Siege Tank go down? And he does take out that Siege Tank with one Roach. He is now forced to pull back because there are so many Helions left. There is still one Siege Tank. There is a nice positioning with this spine crawler up here. Will it will be able to get any uh, scattered units over here? Uh, Brian is still going to be pushing towards the main base. He's using the Helions to targets a couple of drones, a couple of them getting fried. But now Blood is pushing again with some Zerglings and Roaches. The Zerglings just got fried, and Brian's push is going to be disabled now. Okay, that was pretty freaking awesome. Blood just defended Brian's main push. Um, income tab. As you can see, uh, Blood's income is a is far greater ahead. He's got 41 drones against Brian's 26 uh, SCVs. Uh, the only reason why he has uh, that high of an economy right now are because of these mules. Mules will give you a pretty good income boost, but once they're gone, uh, Blood's going to have the economic advantage. Um, Brian needs to disable Blood's supply, uh, I mean uh, expansions right now. If he could just run a couple of units over here, take out this hatchery, uh, it'll delay Blood's income boost by a little bit at least. And Blood is making a hatchery right here. I think that's a really nice decision because since this uh, ramp is so close to uh, his expansion right here, one of these hatcheries are going to go down at least. Um, at least one of them will tank and the other one will replace it. Um, Zerglings over here going to be attacking this base. Going to shut down this expansion, force Brian to cancel. Um... This computer's running really nicely. I like this. Uh, I like Blood's spine crawler positioning. Forces him to go up the ramp. Um, I'm focusing on Blood right now. I don't know why, because I'm a Zerg player. That's why. Uh, their income is actually almost the same now. But Blood has 20 more SCVs than. Uh, I mean, Blood has 24, 20, 20 more drones than uh, Brian does. Uh, his expansion is getting saturated now on in the process. Nicely saturated base will have three drones for every mineral line. So in theory, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About 24 drones at a base at a time. Uh, 30 including extractors. But another main engagement over here. And Blood just completely surrounded by all these Zerglings and Banelings. Roach, oh my gosh, uh, oh. Brian got completely surrounded by that attack. I don't even think Brian did any damage at all. Uh, if Blood pushes right now, he'd probably easily win, because Brian does not have much left at all. This doesn't look too good for Brian at the moment. Uh, if I haven't mentioned before, this is a best 2 out of 3. This is the first game of that matchup. And a lot of SCVs are just coming towards here already. Oh my gosh. So many of these SCVs are going to die. It would be freaking awesome if Blood could morph a couple of these into Banelings. But it's fine. He did so much economic damage right there. Uh, Brian is down to 50 SCVs. These guys are just macroing like crazy right now. Uh, Brian does have three bases though. He needs to make sure... Oh, here we go. Another hatchery over here. Zerg wants to make sure they're at least one base ahead of their opponent. Uh, completely mined out of his main. Also getting lair tech now. I mean, uh, hive tech. So we're going to be seeing some brood lords or uh, ultralisks soon enough. A couple Helions over here. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, ooh. Looks like Blood's going for some infester play. Me likey. Marauder going to be taken out. Uh, these SCVs will spot this expansion. Uh, Brian's probably using these guys to 
look for bases, scout them out, do drop-ins. Zergwing's taking out those Marines, though. Minecrawler building in the main. And Brian's got two medivacs over here, getting ready to drop in with Helions. Probably going to drop in somewhere over here. Uh, but Blood's main force of units is beginning to push. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, Brian getting a lot of upgrades at the moment. Where are those? Where are they? A lot of Zerglings. Zerglings surrounding this one Helion. Oh, uh, well. Um, Blood's got level 2 attack upgrades for the Zerglings. Uh, and that's the only upgrade he's got. I actually wish Blood would have gotten uh, double Evo Chambers. Because that's always what I like to do. And that's what a lot of Zerg players like to do. Get double Evo Chambers for double upgrades. Depending on the play match. Against Terran I usually like getting the attack. And the ground carapace. But his Hellions are going to be moving into the main base. There's going to be absolutely nothing here for him to attack. Hellions getting temporarily trapped by these Queens. And this one Hellion gets completely trapped and taken out. Moving into the main base, frying as many drones as he can, but these Helions will go down. This army is just too much for him to handle, he cannot pull back. And I'm not sure if those Helions were even worth the uh, minerals. Um, Blood's army is starting to look extremely scary. Brian really, really, really needs to go for these expansions over here. He needs to stop going for the main base. So that's where his main army is. Um, Brian getting a lot of siege tanks now, however. It's going to be pretty scary against these roaches. Uh, if his zerglings can catch these siege tanks on siege, though, Blood will be in great positioning. Uh, Brian also getting Thors. Right now, uh, against Terrans, my worst matchup is when the Terran goes all, all uh, mech units. Um, Blood is going to be saturating his new expansion now. Uh, I like the way Blood's saturating everything. And he's going for the Brood Lords. He's also getting the adrenal adrenal glands for the Zergling, morph them into Cracklings, and he's got so many freaking Banelings right now. So many freaking Banelings. Infestor's almost full energy. And Brian lays down a scan. Um, what was that? Did a bane link go up? I'm not sure. Looks like Blood's going to be sending a small force of banelings to this base over here. But there are siege tanks stationed right at the very top. And oh my gosh. He still manages to destroy that entire base. Manages to pull out right before the siege tanks can do any damage to them. And now these uh, SCVs and mules have nowhere to nowhere to mine. Uh, Brian's been mined out out of his expansion a long time ago. Uh, his natural's almost mined out. So pretty much he's only mining from one base. He's got to expand as fast as he can. And he's also got to take care of the zerg problem. Because if he leaves his Zerg unchecked, he's just going to be unstoppable. Roaches finally have that plus one armor upgrade. And he's got Corruptors out, morphing two of them into Banelings already. And Brian's main army is going to be moving out. We're going to be seeing uh, engagement here. Big battle. Siege tank sieging up. Infestor's right in his range, but he manages to back out right before the rest of these siege tanks get within range. Uh, looks like Blood trying to get this one as close as he can, but it just gets destroyed by the siege tanks. Um, got quite a few Vikings out. Probably spotted the Brood Lords. Ryan's <laughs> just inching his way towards this army now. And Blood's just waiting patiently. Something. Fungal growth goes down. Really nice fungal growth. We'll destroy all of those Vikings. Oh my gosh, and Brian just lost a big chunk of his anti-air. I'm not sure what those roaches were doing, but 
these broodlings are going to be engaging. Thor's not doing too well against broodlords. Broodlings just focus firing down these Thors. Tanks firing his own allies. Oh my gosh, and an Infestor goes down. Ryan's got control of this one tank. Ooh, Banelings take out almost all of Brian's army, and the Roaches clean up the rest. One more Infestor does go down though, and Brian just lost his main army. Brian has absolutely nothing left. If you look over here into his main, he's got two Vikings and a Marauder. There's no way Brian can win this anymore. Blood's got this. And he's got he's fungal growthing this last medivac. The rest of them managed to get away somehow. Two SCVs over here at this expansion. And as you can see at the map, Blood's just got control over almost all of these expansions everywhere. He's laying down creep there. Uh, Brian sends Marines to take that out. Gotta wait for the creep to subside before he can lay it down. And a huge, 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 huge force of Zerglings start moving out. Splitting half of them to go to this area over here. The rest of them uh, falling back to his creep. Uh, he did a really good job with creep tumors earlier, but uh, he kind of stopped spreading them after that. Uh, I always like to spread my creep, no matter what I'm doing. Uh, especially when I'm wanting to connect my expansions. Um, and it also just gives me more map control. But, yeah. Brood could easily end this right now. Just with Zerglings, in fact. Uh, he's letting Brian re-macro up, though. But this army doesn't look like it'll be able to do much. So many brood, I mean, banelings. Banelings, banelings, banelings. Ah. Uh, these SCVs are long distance mining. Uh, Brian's finally getting expansions everywhere else. And blood is going for the killing blow. Moving in for the final strike. Destroying that one Helion at that Zelnaga tower. Broodlords rejoining the army. And we are going to see blood. Blood everywhere. Spines destroying that Helion. I don't think he was able to do damage. Banelings frying these SCVs over here at his expansion. And Brian's main army is pushing out. These Banelings are going to get... Uh, oh man. Oh man. Those Thors actually tank so many of those Banelings. But all of these Infestors are just taking control of these Thors now. While the Roaches tank a lot of the damage and the Broodlords just do the cleanup. Terrible positioning from Brian too. Uh, Blood had the higher ground. These broodlings are just chasing after these Thors. Thors are completely defenseless. Uh, he decides to stop, though. Um, Blood did lose a majority, uh, a lot of his uh, ground army, but that's because he morphed all of those Zerglings into Banelings, and those Banelings were pretty useless against the Thors. With three three upgrades for everything, we've got four armor. Uh, we got. Level 2 air upgrades from Blood. And Brian's re again. It looks like he might be going for an all-in. Uh, he's got SCVs w along with his Thors. And he's got Ultralisks. Vikings folks firing down these Broodlords. They're going to be completely useless now. Once these Broodlords do go down. But he's got... Ultralisks attacking the main base, SCVs trying to repair what they can, but these Thors just cannot keep up with the amount of Ultralisks there are, that there are. Oh my gosh. Brian's army is just getting freaking hugged to death by those Kaiser Blades. And Brian GG's. This is the first time I've ever seen Brian lose in a long time. Brian says GG and he cannot compete with Zerg Macro. So Blood takes the first game. Let's find out in the next game, see who wins.